Welcome to our yin practice. Now I believe yin is only for the brave. It takes courage and discipline for us to slow things down and be with our own thoughts. So hopefully you are willing to take this journey with me. The things that I want you to have are a set of yoga blocks and maybe something a little more comfortable where you can be spending time on the floor. Grab some towels or throw down a blanket. We're gonna begin our practice in a hand mudra called Kali Mudra. So sit comfortably. Hands will interlace, but I want you to keep the index fingers pointing forward. Left thumb crosses over right thumb. Relax the shoulders and close your eyes. Kali represents the death of the old and a transformation towards higher ways of living. This mudra helps us stand in our truths as we wash away the illusions about ourselves in others. We are removing the obstacles to bring the dark into the light. Final breath in. And on the exhale, open your eyes. All right, we'll take this into our first pose, which is half butterfly. We'll extend one leg out to the side. And if this knee is kind of floating, you want to bring your block underneath for a little extra support. Our goal here is to let the body weight completely sink into the pose, so little to no effort. Spiral to the right, right foot should be completely relaxed, and begin to walk yourself forward. As you feel like you've come into that end range, then allow the head and neck shoulders to just relax. Yin works on gravity and the weight of our bones to assist in releasing. When we disengage our muscles and we just surrender to our expressions, we're working directly on our connective tissue. Our goal is to gently stress the tissues and in this way we hydrate them as well as giving them more elasticity. Make some small micro movements here. See if you can just find a little more length and space in your body and come back into your expression. Hands will come underneath those shoulders, slowly rise up. And set those hands behind, we'll pull that right leg in. Adjusting to the left. Try to take that spiral to the left, right? Support this right knee if necessary. And as you feel ready, long spine walks forward. It is a passive fold, so little to no effort here. I want you to drop into the sensations you're feeling from your expression. 
Breathe into the back body. Feel yourself getting heavier on the exhale. There's a Buddhist saying, what movement does for the body, stillness does for the mind. Let's use our practice to help connect with those innermost layers of who we are. Inhale, come up and lengthen a bit. Maybe you can find a little more space in your body and soften. Find your way up. Make a transition onto your hands and knees and into some cat cows. Inhale as the tailbone lifts and the belly drops. Exhale, curl and round. Just move at your own pace, on your own breath. Incorporate any other movements that you might want here. We're gonna work our way into a pose that looks very much like a prayer position. It's called quarter dog. We'll spend a minute and a half on each side. Right arm is gonna extend. Left elbow will bend so that you can rest your forehead or your temple right on the back of the hand. Look to the left as you sink the chest towards the floor. Finding length in that right side. I want you to ask yourself, are there any ways that you may be able to better care for your heart? Is there something that we are holding on to or something that holds on to us that we need to let go of? Or perhaps something that keeps us stuck? Jobs, relationship, fears, habits? I want you to surrender.
Find your way back into table. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone. Exhale, round into cat. Take one more round. And on to that second side. Left arm is going to extend forward. Bend that right elbow right in front of you to rest the forehead. Maybe look to the right as you sink into your expression. Allow that heart to sink. Sliding back into that table. Drop the belly, lift the tailbone, inhale. Exhale, curl and round into cap. Working our way into sleeping swan, I will show progressions if this does not feel good on your hips. Left knee is going to slide to left wrist, right foot tucks under and slides back. We want to make sure this left hip doesn't fall to the side, so try to keep those hips nice and square to the front. You can grab a block or stack your fists to rest your forehead. Our modification for this one is a deer stance. So we've got 90 degree angles with the legs. You'll fold over the front knee, nice long spine, stacking the fist or grabbing a block so that you can support your forehead. It's not uncommon to feel any pain or pinching into this pose. If you should need to come out and make some minor adjustments, just join us back when you're ready. Our goal here is to do less. We need to avoid the need to fidget and be completely present in sensation and mind and body. Make some micro movements. See if you can sink a little bit deeper or maybe extend the arms out in front of you.
Coming out slowly, hands right underneath your shoulders. Slide that left knee back out. Now you can take this into a couple rounds of cat-cow, or if you feel as if you can, just lift into a downward facing dog and just sway your hips, just move freely. Maybe shake your head, yes or no. Finding your way down to table. Second side, right knee comes to wrist, left toes tuck under and slide back. Remember that if we have this dropping, see if you can't get that right hip to point forward as you come down, nice long spine. Support the forehead. Make some adjustments or see if you can't go a little bit deeper, maybe extend those arms out in front of you. Hands will come underneath those shoulders. Just allow your hip to drop to the right so you can swing your legs around. You can take this into a couple nice, easy windshields from side to side. We we'll wanna take some counter pose here, so a little bit of a chest opener. You'll need your blocks for this. I'm gonna place one block behind me, which will go right between my shoulder blades. And the second block we'll use for our head. Setting up, you'll want to make sure that block is right behind your shoulders. Lift and lower the sacrum. You want to get a nice and flush connection to the floor. And I suggest putting the block first to where you want it. So I'm going to put the block right on my hairline where my hair and neck meet as I then slowly lower down. You want to feel completely supported in your pose, arms out to the side. Letting the knees either tent in as the feet walk wide, or you can do a butterfly position, creating that little diamond soles of the feet together as the knees drop out to the side. You really want to open the chest here, so if you can go a little further out with your hands, allow your shoulder blades to melt and the heart to open.
We'll add a little bit of a progression, one minute on each side. Arms are gonna come up and overhead. Let your right hand grab the left forearm and extend the arms long overhead. Just allow yourself to hang here. Try to deepen the breath on wherever you feel sensation. Release the arms and swing them back and around overhead. Left hand grabs the right forearm, not the wrist, and then just gently extend overhead. Releasing the bind, and if your feet are extended or Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet to the floor. You want to bring both hands behind your head so that you can support the neck as you lift. And to exit, you'll just drop your knees to one side. As you roll your way up, set those blocks in front. We'll be traveling through variations of dragon. Climb up onto your hands and knees. beginning with the right foot. So right foot is gonna step forward and through. Now, if you'd like to stay elevated, you can come into a lifted dragon position. Both blocks would be underneath your shoulders. Heart will remain lifted as you sink your left hip down and try to keep those hips nice and square. Options are to come to the inside and work a little bit further down onto those forearms and elbows. Heart can extend forward and I'm letting my body weight sink. I want you to pick the pose that works best for you and it's resonating today. Option to take a little twisted action. So I'm going to just allow my body weight to sink towards the outer edge of that right foot. My right knee splays open and it's continuing to track the toes. Right, and depending on which pose you choose, you may be going for a different focus. Forearms and elbows to floor if it's accessible. Remember, we want to avoid the knee to fidget. So if you get into a position and you're in pain, you've gone too far. Give into gravity. Breathe into sensation. And in our last minute, I will show one other variation, which is actually really good to work on for ankle mobility, which is flying dragon. 
my right foot is gonna come a little bit closer so I can let my body weight sink over towards that right side. So I am creating some strain here and I'm feeling this deeply in the calf and the Achilles tendon to the right. Probably the only time I have you have the knee go beyond the ankle. The heel remains grounded, so if you feel your heel lifting, you'll need to scale back a little bit. You may feel this on the front crease of the ankle or more often towards the back of the calf and into the heel. Give it one more breath. And always exiting these really slowly. Come into your version of either puppy prayer pose, maybe a downward facing dog. I'm just gonna melt my heart for a moment before head rest. Notice your two sides. All right, let's see what our left side has to offer. Stepping through. Eye dragon, right? Support the pose here. So blocks right underneath shoulders. Square those hips to the front. Allow the right hip to sink to the inside. It's a long spine that comes forward and then we allow ourselves to just sink into gravity. Or that little twisted action where we splay the knee open. on or off blocks, but remember, we're honoring where we are today. And you should be able to hold your pose and say, this is uncomfortable, yes, but no pain. Let's imagine that this edge we're looking for is where your fear and your courage meet, or your desires meet your will. Holding your expression or taking that little journey up into flying dragon. I'm gonna walk that left heel a little closer in so I can sink my body weight over. Remember our heel stays down for this. Allow the body weight to sink over that knee. Exit nice and slow. Prayer or puppy position. Alternatively, downward facing dog if you want to lift those hips and just move a bit here. Just pedal the feet or sway the hips. Rolling your way down. Swing those legs out in front of you. Coming into dragonfly, so we should be nice and open by now for this one. Rock back and forth on your sit bones. Just kind of find this little internal spiral of the thigh. We want to make sure that we are forward of the pelvis for this one. It's really important. So if you notice you come into this pose and your 
kind of tilted back. You'll want to prop up on a cushion or roll a little towel so you have a little support. Coming into a fold. If the ground feels like it's very far away and you're struggling with this, you can always put your elbows on blocks and put the thumbs on the creases of the inner eyebrows. But our goal is to really find that edge, so coming forward to whatever degree you can, and then into your fold. I want you to watch for feelings of tightness, frustration, or discomfort. Watch what arises for you. This is a chance for us to practice the challenges that we occur in real life, staying in our pose regardless of the mental circumstances that may arise. Watch from a distance and be present. Give yourself a little adjustment here, maybe a little rock back and forth. See if you can walk a little further in. Nice and slow on that exit. Help those knees in. Come into Sukhasana, a cross-legged position. Rock back and forth on those sit bones and come back into our Kali Mudra. Hands will interlace, index, fingers pointing forward. Left crosses over right. Sit tall, close your eyes. Come back into your intention. How are you going to let this practice serve you today? Opening those eyes. All right, we're going to get ready to finish our practice with cat's tail. We're rolling our way down to the ground. Knees will come to the chest and just gently rock from side to side. And one hand on each knee. Take it all the way around. Circular churn right across the sacrum. Gentle massage. Reverse. back to center. All right, let's set up for our expression. Take the left foot underneath the right. So I'm going to go through that little negative space and I want to find the foot with my right hand. So it's right hand, left foot. 
Then we want to go left hand to right knee and pull it across the body. So you should be feeling a nice chest opener here, gentle rotation. Take one more breath and slowly reset to center. Just lift and lower your hips. Right knee comes through the negative space. So right knee comes under left, left hand finds right foot. Then we take the opposite. So we go right hand, left knee, pull it across your body. Sometimes I get a nice little pop or crack here on this one. Try to settle in. Breathe up and into your chest. Exhale, feel yourself melting into this shape. If you've ever said to yourself, I'll be happier when, or I'll be happier if, here in this moment can you find complete contentment with what is? from the twist, find your way onto your back. 
Allow the hips to lift and lower and setting up for our final pose. You can either walk the feet wide and let the knees tent in or extend the legs long. Let the shoulder blades melt into the floor. Palms face the ceiling. Let's take a body scan. Observe subtle change in your body. And eventually just let the mind drift wherever it'd like to go. Just reawaken by calling back the mind, but keep the eyes closed. And then just find the small movements of fingers and toes. Maybe a gentle rock of your head. Begin to roll to one side. Pause in a fetal pose. Press into palms and ease up to a comfortable seat. Relax your shoulders, sit nice and tall. Palms face the ceiling and close your eyes. Remember it takes courage and bravery to show up on your mat and be still. Inhale your arms overhead and on the exhale, bring them into heart center opening your eyes and namaste.